everybody. I am back with the counterfeit kit challenge uh, kit build for you for the month of October. And it's kind of interesting because um, they picked a inspiration kit from the Chamel Best of Both Worlds project from last month, which I actually participated in and have a video on that one already. So you can find the link to that in the show notes. So I am looking at the same inspiration this month. So the challenge here is, how do you take the same inspiration and go in a different direction? Now this is just a simple overview of Chamel's kit, and I will also have a link for the information on Chamel's Best of Both World kit projects, um, because it's kind of like the counterfeit kit where she gives you some inspiration and then you build your own kit either from newly purchased items or from things you already have. And I really like doing these kit builds from things I already have because it encourages me to use up my stash, encourages me to take supplies that I got kind of tired with and mix and match them with new things and make them fresh again. So there's lots of good reasons to do both the best of both worlds and the counterfeit kit challenges. I'm going to look at this counterfeit kit challenge inspiration and go with a mini kit because I've got a lot of products that I'm already working with. So looking at these items, I'm not going to go one by one like I often do. I'm just going to take this simple overview and go to my stash and build just a little mini kit this time around. So I have a couple of ideas about which direction I might go. I might go with some rainbow themes because I have a specific picture in mind that could work for that. Or I might go with this piece here, which I know is kind of the teen girl makeup hair kind of collection but I just um, purchased a few more pieces for my own kit so I might go in that direction so I will be back as soon as I figure out which direction I'm going in. I did end up going in the direction of the kind of teen girl vibe based on that um, yellow polka dotted piece of paper that you saw in the inspiration image and that piece of paper was from the Kate and Ash collection by Simple Stories and I actually purchased a few more of pieces of paper from that collection and this sticker sheet from that collection uh, recently. And I like a lot of the images in here because they really do have a lot to do with my 13-year-old daughter right now with the hydro flask and, and she loves sleeping and she plays the ukulele. And so all of this felt really relevant to our lives right now. So I pulled out those pieces of paper that I purchased and um, I actually had some of this collection from a Scrapbooking Cards Today sampler kit, which I have another video on. Um, so it was kind of fun to take out these pieces of paper that I've played with a little bit and kind of look at them in a different direction in terms of what my daughter is doing right now with her life. And because I wanted to keep this kit fairly small, but I also wanted to pull in a few more color tones, I did pull out a couple extra sheets of pattern paper, and these are also by Simple Stories. So their collections can tend to mix and match together, and these two sheets are actually from two separate collections, and um, they have a little bit of a different vibe to them with some watercoloring and some kind of cuter prints there with those girls. But I thought they would mix and match well enough, and even both sides of that pattern paper could work. And some of the color tones, like I'm pointing out here with the um, pinks and oranges, definitely work together. So I've got, I don't know, maybe six or seven sheets of pattern paper, a sticker sheet, and then I wanted to bling this kit up a little bit, so I pulled out some washi tape with gold foiling. That one has just some gold arrows on it. And this one is a peachy color that has some hearts on it. I know it's a little hard to see that. And then I had some Chamel um, enamel dots that have a lot of glitter to them. So that's going to add some bling to this kit, which is totally going to work for my daughter's photos lately. This is some old Queen & Company. I forget what the product's called, but they're these round kind of gemstone, bumpity gemstone dots. And then lots and lots of sequins in these peachy yellowy tones that are predominant in this kit. And then I wanted to be sure to have an alphabet. And these are some foam alphabets that I recently cut myself with um, a die cut alpha set. 
and I'll put a link to the set if it's still available. Um, I can't quite remember. I think it might have been a Lawn Fawn product. And then just a few sheets of cardstock in case I needed some extra pieces for backgrounds and black to add some contrasty pop of color. So before we go, I really want to highlight the differences that I went through between last month's choices and this month's choices. So here's the inspiration piece, and it has a lot of ways that you can go with it. Last month, I took a very soft color palette with soft yellows and pinks and blues and went with this kind of springy feeling uh, kit. And this month, I chose much richer colors in... Um, still there's pinks and blues, but then with this richer orange and the, the bolder black, it becomes a whole different feel and a different, while still youthful vibe, a much older youthful vibe. And that's another reason why I really like these build your own kit challenges, because they allow you to take the inspiration in directions that your photos, your stories, um, and your life are heading. So I do have youthful moments with softer colors and my teen, my youngest teen daughter definitely is in that bolder phase right now. So I can take this inspiration and go in different directions and really customize it to our lives. I hope you found this process interesting and that you go out and build your own kit to customize to your life. I really appreciate you watching. If you got something helpful out of this video, please do give it a like. That helps my channel. And if you want to catch my future videos, please subscribe.